Hubert Humphrey was a great poet of American politics, but he was also a great plumber for American politics. He knew how to take the lofty rhetoric and the high ideals and the ambitions and aspirations of different people and make them work, to put them in the pipeline of, of politics so that something practical came from them. That, in terms of his political genius, is the heart of it, I think. His ability to move us to think more grandly and generously about ourselves, even as he helped make the machinery more effective in carrying out our aspirations. This country is based upon the concept of popular sovereignty. We, the people, those are the three most important words in the lexicon of democracy. We, the people, establish and ordain this Constitution. Not the forefathers, not Hubert Humphrey, not Gerald Ford or Ronald Reagan or add the list of Democratic candidates. We, the people, establish this. Now that is the whole charter of our government. From there on out, all the rest of it is detail. That preamble to the Constitution is uh, the most concise statement of uh, public purpose and public policy that you could ever hope to read. Every single part of that preamble is an action part. The thrust of it is action, purpose, decision, drive. Take the word form, to form a more perfect union. That means you've got to work at it. You've got to lay it out. You've got to plan it. You've got to organize it, form, establish justice. It doesn't just happen. You have to establish it, a body of law, a system, and then to assure domestic tranquility. Domestic tranquility doesn't just happen. It doesn't mean domestic indifference or apathy. It's like the old Hebrew word shalom, a sense of harmony, a peace within harmony. But you've got to assure it. You've got to work at it. You've got to guarantee it. You have to protect it. And then it says to provide for the common defense. That means you may have to sacrifice for it. You have to give something. You provide for it and promote the general welfare. You've got to get out and work at it. You have to conceive it. You have to sell it. You have to make it work. You have to administer it. You promote it. And it says the general welfare, too. And then secure the blessings of liberty. I think that, that preamble is such a powerful moving force or, or statement of policy that we ought to remember what it says and to keep in mind that government is not to be indifferent to the injustices that afflict society. That government has a purpose. It is to build a society, a social structure, and to be just to give you a degree of peace and security.